the shoulder. Aim to the shoulder. Hanshaw never sat down. Round three. Steve, talk Box. more about Durrell now. Or let's talk about Hanshaw first. Anything, he probably lost that round. So what do you think? Do you agree with Shields? And what else should he be doing? Well, I agree with Ronnie Shields. He needs to stay. You see, Hanshaw's capable of applying 10 rounds of hard pressure. He did it with, with Mendy and Spot. He did it with John. In those fights, he's fading in the 11 and 12. There's no 11 and 12 in these fights. He has to be consistent, stay focused, and apply pressure. And really, his time in this fight next should be the second half of the fight, not the first half. Wow, well, he's really trying to walk Wait, down Darrell, but man, Darrell's hand 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 speed again. Very evident, Steve. But you can see Darrell losing his composure. 14 throw fights a little bit. You know, when he gets under siege that way. But I still don't know about Hanshaw's power. Put it out. Professional experience. Look at the numbers of rounds. Andre Durrell has not a lot of action since turning pro after winning that Olympic bronze medal. And he really Hanshaw's wants a lot busy. more. He wants a lot more action. He's, he really he thought he hasn't fought enough. Nick, he, he's never signed with a promoter. He's never had a contract with a promoter. Sometimes that can hurt against fighters. Good point. Now they slug it out. And Hanshaw cut off balance. Now on the switch is Durrell. And he got full extension on that left hand. And he's got Hanshaw in... Bad shape here. He's wrestling him and mugging him all over the round, all over the ring. It's hard to know. And he's muscling him against the ropes again. And Hanshaw holds on. Didn't look like Hanshaw got more than one solid shot. But he became unglued a little bit, Steve. He did. His balance went. I think he was legitimately hurt, Nick. And Durrell, a tiger in there, pushing Hanshaw off so he could get his punches off. Looked like that left hand from Durrell. We hope to see it again. Meantime, a lot of time left in this third round. It's been a beauty here in our main event. Andre Durrell in the black and green is undefeated. He's the natural southpaw. Nice left hand. It's been his best punch. Well, when he triples up that jab, it's not bad either. But that straight light left hand from Durrell has found a home as Hanshaw comes in without throwing. Hanshaw trying to line up, just touching, touching with the jab. Trying to unload that right hand. And Durrell waiting to counter that right. Two of Hanshaw's last five fights against Lefty. Steve, it's like Durrell's taking a little breather. Ah, uh, the crowd doesn't want to see that. No, Durrell should not do that. He's making Hanshaw miss, so he's smiling at him. Don't lose the crowd. Bad move. Yeah. Harder now, Nick. Yeah, he opened up. He really took about 45 seconds off there. Hanshaw, bad round for him. As he's fallen behind in this fight, 3-3. Three, three. Okay, now listen to me. Sit down. Listen. You gotta look, you gotta use the jab. Jab the man in the chest. You try to you're head hunting too much with him. Okay, don't head hunt with the man. Look, add your face, use your face. Once you fade him and he commit himself, then you got to go in. But you got to jab. Action from round three. Durrell can fight righty or lefty. He's lefty here, and he's effective. And look at him pushing Hanshaw off. Hanshaw, try, experienced guy, trying to hold on. Durrell won't let him. Big power display. A little sloppy, a little overaggressive, but that's okay. He thought he had a chance to score a knockdown, if not a knockout there. And now later in the round, look at that straight left hand. Hanshaw never saw it coming. That was a big shot. Durrell, the confidence he lost. You understand? With that, you in that go first to the 10 seconds of round one, Nick, he's, he's gotten it back five times go over. The body I just love his hand speed. You know, I, I disagree. I, well, I don't think Tony Hanshaw is capable of really being elusive. I like that Shields is telling him to move it. I don't think you're going to faint the rel into a mistake. But what you are going to do, that Hanshaw, that I agree with Shields, he's got to go to that body. Now he's got to take the legs away from Durrell a little bit. He's got to slow him up. He's just got to seize the initiative back. And why is Durrell boxing orthodox? He's so effective lining up that left hand off the jab. But he had a great jab here. He was tripling that jab from the orthodox position. But it's always harder to fight a southpaw, you would think, so why not make it miserable for Tony Hanshaw? Or even more miserable. You agree, Steve? You have it 29-28? Uh, yes, for Durrell. Gave the second and third round. Line of blood right, coming out of Durrell. Stop. This right. is an excellent fight. 
Well, uh, very hard to figure because the way the first round went, you would have thought that Hancho would have steamrolled Terrell, but not the case at all. We have those hands. In, in Andre, close will be very Break, interesting. Nobody sees the big advantage when they get in tight. That was a clinch. Hanshaw not really walking, and he walks into a jab there. Blood coming from the left nostril of Andre Durrell. Now Hanshaw working the body. But look at those rope burns on Hanshaw's back. Wow. Been there from the beginning, Steve. Oh, nice left. That was a hybrid hook. Boy, I love, I love the hand speed of Andre Durrell. And he could crack, too. I'm not saying knockdown power right, by any means. Let his head up. I got it. Let it out. Technically, rock solid. More solid than uh, Tony Hanshaw. Not to disparage Hanshaw. He's a dangerous guy. Walked into a jab there. Now it's back southpaw as Darrell whips a right hand and goes orthodox. Darrell obviously watched the Roy Jones fight because Hanshaw worked on most of that fight. But what Jones was effective doing was taking pot shots. He'd wait, he'd wait, he'd wait. Then he'd throw a, a lead power shot. Darrell's sort of doing the same thing with a few more jabs mixed in. See, to me, the difference in this fight is the superior speed of Andre Darrell. Certainly hand speed and definitely his foot speed, too. He's using a ring better. Hanshaw should be closing him off here, forcing him to fight. Now, not backing up. Well, let's see what happens here. Oh, Darrell drives him in again. Oh, he walked into a right hand. So Hanshaw gets rocked again. Nice switching from Durrell. He's been very effective. Hanshaw holding on. Let him go. Stop. Let him go. Durrell looks like the stronger Break. guy right now. And that's something that Hanshaw didn't believe would never buy. And now Durrell trying to brute force his way around. He's throwing Hanshaw all over. Hanshaw's bleeding from the nose as well. And now he's in retreat. Body shot from Durrell. I got it. That is exactly the amateur stop. style right. with Durrell. Oh, man. Hanshaw. Right. He's fighting me, Steve. He's fighting me. And he pushes Hanshaw oh, no. down. No. He had him going Three. with that left hand. Five. Can't Seven. be saved by the bell. Eight. All right, you okay? Pat Russell didn't down. think it was a knockdown, a knockdown at first. And then... It's a knockdown. I didn't think it was knocked down either. He clearly pushed him down. down. He had him going Dang. with the left the hand, and then he finished the job by pushing what? him down. Get him I up agree. Get him up here. Here, let me get the water. Let me now. You got to move your head. Stop following the man around. You're standing up too tall. Stay down low, but move your head. Composure. Okay? You understand? You heard you hit the guy. You got to stay. Action from round four. Watch Durrell. Nice left hand. Now, clearly, hand shorts hurt. Let's see if there should be a knockdown. If There's the left. I'm sorry. He pushed him down. He pushed him down. He had him hurt. Another look. He had him hurt. He clearly had him hurt with the left hand. But he's pushing hard. Now, Pat Russell saw that last left hand. Maybe he thought that would put hand short down. 10-8 round. Remember, the judges have to score what the referee decides, not what they saw. So that is a 10-8 round for Durrell. 